Xbox, what are you doing? They go and buy up all these studios that everybody was already, you know, pretty frustrated about when it was happening. They didn't want it to become a monopoly and all that stuff. And, you know, that's fair. Totally fair. Valid. But they're buying up these studios, and then they're just closing them down. They straight up closed down Tango Gameworks, Arcane Austin, and Alpha Dog Games. Roundhouse Studios as well, apparently. So it's, this is just absurd. I think it's absolutely crazy. They're going to be cutting down some of the Bethesda team. And what is the point in buying these studios if you are just going to end up closing them down? I, I'm very confused on thought process going on here. But the frustrating part is that like Hi-Fi Rush did well for what it was. It won awards. It's a really good game. Legitimately a lot of fun. I absolutely love it. Uh, Redfall, um, yeah, I don't care for personally, right? But it is a Bethesda game, and Bethesda is Bethesda. They'll have good games, they'll have bad games, and, and we know what Bethesda does. But Xbox apparently wants to now cut down these studios to, to, to be more focused, they say. They want to be more focused. What are they focusing on exactly here? Focusing on making bad decisions because it seems like one bad decision after another, and I'm not even going to call out just Xbox here. PlayStation's doing the same stuff. PlayStation making a lot of really bad moves, and this is the problem with AAA gaming right now is that it's 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 all a prop. And, you know, PlayStation is buying up these studios as well. It's not just Xbox, but... You know, Xbox is like, uh, we might not put Call of Duty on Game Pass. Now we're going to raise the price of Game Pass Ultimate. And, okay. All right, so the, that's your move. Raise the price of Game Pass. Don't put Call of Duty on there. Makes absolutely no sense. Makes zero sense to me. So I don't know what the heck Xbox is doing here. I, I don't know what their kind of thought process is. What What is going through their heads as a team? I mean, they, they say that they want... To, they need smaller games after they closed the, the developer for Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush was a phenomenal game, and it was a, you know, quote-unquote smaller game, if you will, that did very, very well. The game did very well. People, it was received very well. People really enjoyed it. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun. And they just straight up closed that developer. And they were working on, you know, they had thoughts at least for a Hi-Fi Rush 2, which would have been phenomenal. I think that would have been great. It, it really takes me back to, like, the Sega Dreamcast era, and I just absolutely loved it. But 3 million people play that game, over 3 million players, tons of awards. Like, it, it just blows my mind what Xbox is thinking here. And, and they want to focus on smaller games that will win them awards. I, I just... I just can't even with them right now. It's it, it's just absolutely crazy to me. Um, you know, everybody, like I said, was was pretty up in arms about Xbox buying all these studios to begin with, and and this is what's happening. And and I've been saying for a while that Triple A Gaming is really gonna have to fall on its head, and, and um, just gonna have to start over. It's gonna have to rise up like a phoenix. It's gonna have to crash in some capacity. It, it'll never be, you know like the video game crash ever but that'll never happen again gaming's too big for it to happen to that level but it needs to happen in the triple a uh video game space which it is it's happening right now right in front of us it is absolutely being flipped on its head it is completely changing right before our eyes and uh we, i mean we knew this this was gonna happen uh all these people are losing their jobs who would even want to work in the games industry at this point all your people losing their jobs so I think it's, you know, I think it's crazy. I don't even know what the statements that, that Microsoft is making here, like, doesn't even make sense to me. None of it makes sense. I don't, I don't get any of it that they're, they're trying to say or do or whatever the statement is that they're trying to make. They're not doing a good job at it because they just shut down the Hi-Fi Rush developer. And they're saying they want to focus on smaller games that will win them awards and, and all this stupid stuff. And it's just like games journalism is a problem right now. And AAA game, <laughs> game studios are a huge problem. It's just absolutely crazy. Just more layoffs to report on. And uh, it truly sucks for all these people um, losing their jobs. It just really, really sucks. 
you know, it, it's not shocking at all. And, you know, they did that update with the offline mode for Redfall and all that stuff. And so it's it's a little shocking that they lay people off immediately after. And uh, I I imagine the people at Tango Gameworks were pretty, pretty surprised. And, you know, like I was surprised about that specific studio that they closed that studio down. But I'm not I'm not surprised about them closing studios down whatsoever. So it's it's uh, one of those things where, like I said, AAA gaming is just going to have to flip on its head and it's going to have to change. And I guess we'll see what Xbox does for the rest of 2024. You know, I'll be covering it and keeping an eye on it, but it is uh, very, very frustrating. And I guess we'll keep watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll be covering all things Xbox and Nintendo and Sony and retro gaming. I'll see you guys later.